Hey guys, Rich Spizzano here from Digitally Feelers. I had a lot of problems trying to understand Affinity Photos version 2 compound masks. I looked at a tutorial and I said, what would I use that for? And I was planning on doing a Photoshop tutorial that I saw recently from, from a site called Mood on YouTube. And then I looked at it and I thought, that would be a perfect way to use compound masks. And so I think, I've, I think I figured it out, and I think it's so much easier now in my head. So now I understand it, and I hope you get to understand it too and find ways of using it like I have. So let's get started. So I took a picture of this banana, and you can get this on Google anywhere. You, uh, they use a pepper in the tutorial that I looked at. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to do some lettering. We'll type here. I think I have Arial Bold, and I'm going to type out in all caps, banana, B-A-N-A-N-A, -A -A, and that's good. And we'll go back to selecting it. I'll bring it here, and maybe I'll bring it in just a little bit, and I'll make it bigger. So normally I use live uh, filters, but live filters take up more processing power. In this particular case, I have no reason to use the live filters. I'm going to just do a mesh warp, but I never need it after, after I do it. I don't need to go back to it. So what I'm going here is right here where it says filters, and I'm going to mesh warp. And of course it rasterizes it. So I'm going to bring this down. I'm gonna just kind of get the shape of the banana and let's see where we go we'll bring this B up make that go out a little bit also and we'll try and bring this down and, and it doesn't have to be perfect this this is just I'm trying to just show you the concept of it so some of it could be sticking out on the bottom it will it should not affect anything here for this tutorial so now that I have that I hit a checkbox up here that means I applied it and now I go back to make it a selection. So to make it a selection, I'm going to keep this open. I'm going to try and keep it open. I go up to the selections up here, and I say, let's see, select from layer. And it just made that selection. Now I'm going to hide that, keep the selection there, and I'm going to go back to the banana. And now I'm going to add a mask to that. And because of the selection, the mask is automatically going to be set to the letters. So I'm masking layer. And then I have to deselect. So I'll go back up to selections and say deselect. So there's my banana. Now in the tutorial they showed me, they added the parts of the banana. Whoops, sorry. And they added the edges of the banana with just a plain mask. Because I don't think that Photoshop has compound masks. But what I can do, I realize, is if I make a compound mask, if I make any mistakes in the middle, I don't have to keep undoing. So let me show you what I mean by that. What I'll do now is I'm going to hit the plus bar and say compound mask layer. And right here, in fact, I'm going to delete the word banana. I don't need that. I don't want any confusion. So all we have now is the compound mask and the banana. So I'm going to take my banana mask and move it up and sit it right on the icon. So now the banana mask is under the compound mask. So what I want to do now is I'm going to select that mask and add another mask. So I'll hit the plus sign and add a regular mask. And I guess it didn't matter. It put it on top anyway. So now I need to bring that mask and put it on top of the icon of the compound mask. So now the whole banana shows. And the reason the whole banana shows is this mask is pure white, and white shows everything, even though we have the, the uh, bananas part of the mask underneath. But here's the great part of it all. I'm going to invert that mask. It's going to be all black so that it doesn't affect anything. I had trouble finding this at first, and then I remembered how you do it. It's so much easier if they just have a, a, a drop-down that says invert. But when you have a mask and you need to invert it, you just select the mask, go to the channels, that's right here, and select that alpha mask, and right there, you just say invert. So now we can go back to our layers. So now this top mask is all black, which means it doesn't have any effect. And the bottom mask is the letters that you can see right there. 
Now here's the beauty of this, having a separate mask. Now I'm going to go to the paintbrush, and if I paint in white, let's change that from black to white. If I paint in white, I'm bringing back the banana, you know, which is what you would have done with the regular mask. That's not an issue. So I'm just going to keep painting, and I'm going to bring back this part of the banana, and let's bring back the other part also, and right here. So that alone, that was what the tutorial was, the Photoshop tutorial. They were just showing you how to do this on a, with a regular mask, which was fine. And it looks like it was a great, I thought that was a great way to try and show it in Affinity Photo. But then I realized how beautiful it is that we have a compound mask. And watch, here's why. Say, I'm on, say I decide I want to try some different parts of this. Maybe I want to color in the A, the hole in the A. Make sure you're not on the banana part of the mask. You're on the mask above it, the one that was all black when I, we brought it in the second time. And you see I just made a mistake there. I could fix that in a minute. But let's say we wanted to color in that, and I go, oh, you know what? I don't like that. Well, if you did that on a regular mask, for example, you'd have to undo everything. because, Or you'd have to paint in black. And you know how hard it would be to paint in black right here? where all that stuff is and, and, and get the perfect sharp corners and everything. Instead, I'm going to color, change my color back to black and watch this. Because I am on the second mask, which is part of a compound mask, I am now, I can bring everything back to wherever I want it to be. And of course, I can keep going here. And it's only going to affect what we mess on the other thing. So I'll, I went too far, so I can go back and do this. And let me bring, oops, am I doing black? I have to do white now. Let me bring this back. And that's it. And of course, you can continue to add things or subtract things. Oops, let's get a little bit of that off. Maybe I'll go right to the edge there. I don't know. <laughs> I'm having issues here. I Because I didn't put the lettering exactly where I needed it, but... close enough to what we need. So that's the power of compound mass. I hope I made it a little easier to understand because I did have trouble trying to understand it in the beginning. And I hope you liked this tutorial. And if you did, please click like and subscribe and have a great day. Thanks so much. Bye.